Kia ora everyone, I'm Claudette from Tauranga City Libraries. Today I'm going to be going through ePlatform by Wheeler's Books. Now this is the app version which you download on your smartphone or a tablet device. So I'm on the iPhone at the moment so I'm going to go into the app store and I'm going to go down to the search button on the right bottom and I'm going to type in ePlatform. As you can see, it's brought up ePlatform by Wheelers. I'm going to select that and it's brought up a list of what I can download. So there is ePlatform by Wheelers, so I'm going to download that and I'm going to open it. So this is what you see when you open that particular app. It will come to the welcome page and then you tap on find your library. So where it says um, under home at the top there, search, library search, we're going to type in Tauranga City and it will bring up a list of generally what there is available in Tauranga. So we've got Tauranga City Libraries there, so I'm going to select that and then it brings me to the browsing page. Now we aren't signed in as of yet, so if I try to look at maybe bringing um, tapping on the Bronze Horseman and I can see the synopsis about that and if you see there there's a sign in so I can actually select that and in this area the sign in area this is where you pop in your library card number and your pin number now I've popped in my library card number this card number can be found on the back of your library card under the barcode and then it will ask you for your four digit PIN number. And then we're going to select sign in. So it takes us back to the book that I was looking at and I can play a sample of that book because it's an audio book, e-audio, and I can also borrow it. So I have a three week duration on that loan um, if I decide that I was going to take that book out. If I decide it's not for me, I can go back to browse at the top and then find another book that you know, maybe we'll look at the dead I know. So we're going to click on that. And that brings up a little synopsis. It's currently got one copy available and one online. And it also has um, the interest age um, for that particular book. So if I decide I'm going to take that out, I'm going to hit the borrow button. And it's now come up with, I can read it or I can return it. So if I hit the read button, and it's telling me tap middle of screen, once to show and hide menus. So I've got that. So there's the book loaded. And I can just tap the screen and go through the book. If I decide that I'm not keen on the print, I need the print bigger or smaller, can tap the screen in the middle. I can go through to my fonts, which is on the right hand side with the A and the little A. So I can adjust the font size and the color, the brightness. Um, I can also then look at my contents and jump to different chapters. If I decide that I want to read this book offline, I can store it offline by hitting the three little dots on the top right corner there. And we can say store offline. So it's brought it down here. So if I don't have access to the internet, I can now go into that and read that book offline. I have now finished my book. So I'm going to tap the middle of the screen and I'm going to go up to the little arrow to go back on the top left hand side. This takes me back to where I've borrowed that particular book from. So I'm going to hit return. It's giving me a little pop-up box here. Are you sure you want to return this title? Yes, we do. Now that book is returned. Now on the bottom of the screen, we have four icons, Home, Library, Loans, and Browse. So I'm going to tap on Browse. It may take a while to load. Oh, good. Depending on your internet connection, it could take a little bit longer. So I'm going back to Browsing. If I hit Loans, which is at the bottom there, it will take me to what I have currently online. So I've got one there, one hold and beautiful and perfect day. 
So I've got that one. If I go back and hit library, it will bring up what library I have access to. And if I hit home, it takes us back to the home page again. Now with this platform, we've got some really good filter functions. So just under where we have Tauranga City Libraries, we've got search books and we've got availability, audience, categories and format. So if I push, push availability, it brings up what is available now, what is queued and what is out. So if I hit on audience, it will tell me these children teen, general and 18 plus and that's how many books they have available so I can filter out what books I'm interested in. Then I hit categories and in categories I've got fiction, non-fiction, child, teen and then I can click on format. Now what format do I want? Do I want EPUB, audio book or a PDF format? And then I've got language. So this is, the, this is our languages so whatever books are in specific languages, those are available there too. So once I decide, I'm going to go back into audience and I'm going to look at general. So I'm selecting that. And then down the bottom here, I've got apply, which is on the right hand side. So I'm going to select apply. And this will bring me up everything in that particular category. So you can go through all the different filters options here and you can really narrow down what you're searching for. A good thing to also be aware of is up the top there on the left hand side we've got three lines. Now if you click on that it will give us our browsing history, search, loans, anything saved, contact or any support. So if I don't have any issues with this particular app I can hit on support and it will take me through the help overview. If I go back and I'm desperate to get in contact with someone about there's a problem I hit contact. This will take me to the contact Tauranga City Libraries page where I fill in my information and I submit my query. Or you could actually contact us directly on 0757771177. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It is a fantastic e-resource and a really easy app to use. Thanks for listening. Enjoy your browsing.